as I commented on my last video you need to stay on all fours when you're near the top of a 200 foot cliff and I couldn't even really see the cliff from that vantage but looking back at that cliff which is what we're doing right now you can see it's a massive layer of, of uh, sandstone the same one at which I commented on back in December I was underneath it I followed the bottom of this cliff to about the bottom of the one we're looking at right now I don't have a name for it on any of the maps it won't make out well in this video but in the far bottom right hand corner of that cliff there's a little notch it almost looks like a keyhole for an old-fashioned key so let's call it keyhole keyhole ledge or key, keyhole cliff for the time being and I was on top of that I've made my way around to the next point of land which had that um, large rock formation I haven't reached that yet but I'm getting closer but looking back at what I was just on about a half an hour ago and back to geology here we talked about sandstone earlier and I got so busy hiking kinda got off the subject but having been out here three times now I've downloaded some maps from the geological survey and the hike started the yellow just means stream deposits but the dark purple is a break breakable shale sandstone uh, not something would make cliffs the light purple is those limestone outcrops the limestone ledge is 80 feet thick according to the top all lines here and uh, made some comments on those and then found my way up through the rock garden into this blue layer this blue layer is extensive and that is what forms all the scenery in this part of Kentucky that and the limestone of course the limestone forms many caves Mammoth Cave is in the same aged limestone as we found today, similar, almost continuous between here and central Kentucky. The Carter Caves I'd have to look up. I'm not sure if it's in that same layer or not, but that's not too far from here. It might be in that same aged limestone. But other than that, this 200 feet of sandstone is what makes many of the scenic features in this part of, of Kentucky and parts of Tennessee and Alabama and even parts of Ohio and other Appalachian states so that's what that light blue on the map indicates and um, anywhere you find that color start looking for some scenery because you're gonna find it